Hello, everyone. This is Marie O'Neill, president of Padma Life Coaching. I'm here today with my good friend, Michael Bartlett. Michael is one of the presenters on the virtual healing retreat I'm hosting on October 17th and 18th. This retreat is on transforming relationships. Hello, Michael. Hello, Marie. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you doing? Doing really well. Excited about the retreat. Me too. So now, Michael, tell us or tell the audience a little bit about you. There are plenty of people out here who know you, who you are, but there are some who have not ever heard of you. So just give them a little bit of information about yourself. Sure. I've always been interested in the metaphysical, metaphysical sides of life and have, um, as an Aquarian myself, have decided that it's really been important to kind of integrate a bunch of varying ideas and understandings and theories of life. And so in college, I went through and did my undergraduate degree in psychology and then went on to, um, I wanted to was thinking about doing graduate work, but then I came across astrology during a really transitional period in my life. And it gave me a way of looking at what my experience was that was quite life-changing. And so using the psychological understandings of uh, phases of development, but also seeing those reflected in astrology was like kind of an easy feed in for me to be able to work those two. And then incorporating spiritual work with that, as well as my business experience, I really feel like I give bring forth a, a, a really well-rounded toolbox for my clients for whatever process they're going through, whatever uh, changing or challenging cycle that's going on in their lives. Okay, that's wonderful. So now core, you're a core energetics expert. What is that? It's the idea that the it, it comes from Wilhelm Reich's work and EMDR, if you're familiar with it, that's which is the balancing of the the eye when there's trauma that happens, is actually one aspect of some of of his work. Mm -hmm. But it's the idea that we are um, ensouled beings, and that one of the key issues that we have the hardest time with is grounding ourselves in our bodies and feeling our physicality and experiencing and expressing the traumas that happen in our life in such a way that it frees us from being caught up in the, as Alan Oaken would say, non-regenerative emotional patterns of life. Mm, so okay. bringing awareness to, you know, why we get into relationships sometimes isn't necessarily because we're attracted to someone. It might be because they remind us of mom or dad and maybe mom or dad passed away when we were a child. And so there's this great longing for the child to want to connect and be. And so they will seek out someone who reminds them of those characteristics. But it's and a lot of that happens on the unconscious level. Yeah. Whereas when we switch over with astrology, we can see that what some of those attractions could be because there's planetary conjunctions, which is a pairing of the of, of planetary energies, or another sort of thing that gives this that sort of you know sometimes we can have that whirlwind romance kind of experience, and it's just right there in with astrology. And so I really like being able to blend the two to bring greater awareness on the physical level, the emotional level, and the spiritual level. That is awesome. So now you're giving a presentation on the retreat. Tell the audience a little bit about your presentation. Sure. Well, one of the ways in which I like to look at astro with astrology is the planets represent our needs or our various voices of ourselves. Kind of like I, I think of it, our inner round table where you know king arthur would call it you know all the knights to come around and 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 speak forth their mind about what needs to be said and so the part of us that has values and um, loyalty and enjoys beauty needs to have a voice and the one that wants to create shock and change and rebellion needs to have a voice and and the one who wants to transform and kill off that which is no longer useful wants to have a voice at the table and the hard part is in our lives we're raised believing that certain parts of ourselves are okay to be expressed and our very rewarded but then maybe some of those other parts that aren't appreciated by society or our families at certain times aren't and so we begin we treat ourselves in such a way that we 
um, bring certain aspects of ourselves forward to be in relationship with people. And then we retreat those other parts into the background. But of course, what happens in relationship is those parts get played out big time. Mm -hmm. And so what I really appreciate about astrology is giving that understanding of where and how those themes might look and what kind of challenges versus supportive experiences two individuals are likely to have in their relationship and where they're likely to experience the landmines as they're going forward. That is awesome. And so is that what you will be presenting on um, with the retreat? Yeah, I'm going to try to present it my, always with my challenges to make it more understandable for the non-astrologically fluent individual. But I believe breaking it down to these certain archetypes and helping us to understand that not only do we each have those certain sort of aspects or parts of ourselves in this way, but they're in relationship to one another in a way that makes us look at things in a set way. And so sometimes what we really need to do, and I think it's the hardest thing to do in a relationship, is we get so caught up in, in whatever is going on that we don't have the ability to remove ourselves or to take mm -hmm. a step back and say, oh, this is, you know, I see what's going on right now. Your way of communicating because of this in your, in, in your chart explains why you're going to be treating me in this way with it. And if I take it seriously and personally, then we're going to have a problem. But if I realize, hey, this is how you need to go through your process of how you deal with these issues, then I can have compassion and understanding. And I, and I believe that really helps each of us in, and, and I believe the whole world is actually really what needs yeah. it. So I'm very excited with the upcoming Pluto coming back into Aquarius and hopefully we'll get more astrological understanding on the planet. Cause I think it gives greater understanding and compassion. Well, we certainly hope so. So <laughs> I love this. <laughs> now you have a figure right there by your ear. Can you tell the audience a little bit about that? Cause I'm pretty sure people are looking at that figure going, what? What is that? Back in uh, 2010, I came up with the idea of, of coming up with making astrology visual. If you think of like paper dolls astrology, in a sense, is kind of how it works out, where the planets are the actors wearing the costumes of the signs, and then they act out in the stages of the houses of life. And the idea is for people to get an understanding and a viewpoint is because, as you know, astrology is very complex. But if we can break these pieces down into kind of bite sized understandings and build our our um, beginning key words for each planet and for each sign and for each house, we, we get to have kind of a thing. And so this right here behind me is uh, is the Aquarius moon. So the characters all have a bit of a, um, a steampunk, kind, steampunk kind of a look and Monty Python-esque kind of a feeling. But you can see, you know, there's the, the wonderful feminine with the moon symbol up at the top. And she's got the, the, the vase full of, of um, um, Aquarian New Age flowers that are basically you know, coming forth for the Piscean Age, right? I love it. Thank you. Is there anything else that you would like to share with the audience concerning your talk or or anything else for that matter i'm really looking forward to it. i'm very excited i think what you bring to the planet is so amazing and i'm honored to be a part of it and working with the other individuals who are going to be speaking as well I, I, anyone who comes to this is going to definitely learn a lot and have great takeaways and and in ways of relating and understanding and transforming their approaches to how they experience relationship, because the key really is about the relationship with ourselves, right? And learning that's that. That's true. Ourselves. That is true. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. And for you, the audience, if you would like to learn more about this virtual healing retreat, and I hope that you do, please go to eventbrite.com forward slash virtual healing retreat. I'm going to put the link below the video so that you can just click on the link and it'll take you to the page. The event is happening again on October 17th and 18th. It's three hours each day. The timing is four to 7 p.m. Pacific time for on each day. Go to the website, check it out, register, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Marie. Bless you. Thank you.